All right, Ben Parker of CardinalSportsReport.com here with Stanford inside linebackers coach Mark D'Onofrio. Uh, so first of all, just talk about what have you seen from your unit, particularly after having a, having one game under your belts? Yeah, well, I think I think the group has been great. First of first of all, um, you know, obviously we've been working together here uh, now through the spring and the summer and, and training camp. So really pleased with the way they work and, and uh, come to get better every day. So. I uh, was pleased with our start. Uh, obviously, we came away with a win, right? And you also have something to go off of at that point, right? So we got stuff to coach off of. We did some stuff extremely well. We have some things we need to correct and, and get better at. And uh, you always hope going into game one to game two that you, that you have that type of improvement you're looking for. Just in general, what were the things you felt your unit did well against uh, the Rainbow Warriors? Yeah, I mean, I think I think I think the guys went in and understood the game plan. I think they they executed it well. Um, you know, we obviously stopped the run. We made them one-dimensional uh, early in the game. Uh, it became a very, very half, uh, heavy pass-driven game, probably more than uh, than we prepared for. So there was a lot of stuff to teach off of uh, in terms of the pass game because I think there were 60 dropbacks, right? And uh, even though they were heavy pass-driven prior, they, they ran the ball quite enough to keep you honest in other games, and they really just eliminated that at some point. So I think we did a good job of stopping the run, getting them to be one-dimensional, and, uh, and really just guys just executing the game plan. Talk about some of, the, some of the guys you got in your unit. Uh, you got some. You got some veteran guys that are able to, I think, contribute a lot and, and provide some veteran leadership. Spencer Lytle, guy from Bernadelle, Spencer Jorgensen. Just what? A, what is it like having veteran guys in that room like that? Yeah, it's good. Well, Gaithan's played a lot of football. You know, coming from FIU, he's played a lot of games, and he was a big reason why we took him. Uh, we've obviously didn't didn't have a lot of uh, starts uh, coming back. Right, we lost three guys that, that probably could have come back here and played that had a lot of starts last year that ended up leaving. So uh, getting Gaithan was huge for us in terms of his experience. Uh, Tristan's played a lot of football. Uh, Spencer Jorgensen's played a lot of football. So uh, those guys certainly help us. And then, uh, you know, obviously we've got a room of young guys who haven't played. we got Matt Rose, we got S.A. Dubray, we got Ben Hudson. Uh, and those guys are all moving along. So really like the room and like the way they're working. Yeah, and then talk about uh, transfer Spencer Lotto. Just what's he kind of brought to the what's he kind of yeah, brought to the room? Spence, yeah, well, we brought Spence in, and kind of Spence uh, had played all four positions for us in Wisconsin. He's really played more outside linebacker. He played three years worth of outside linebacker at Wisconsin. Um, was with me for one year, and because of some stuff we had going on in the preseason in terms of injuries and different things, we've really repped him more at outside right now. So he hasn't gotten as much uh, play on the inside. He's, he's been primarily an outside guy. Okay, cool, awesome. So, yeah. um, and then um, you know, just in general, kind of what are the main kind of things you're emphasizing with your group, kind of heading into this week, this week's matchup against USC? What's going to keep for you for your unit against the Trojans? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, right? It's it's it's, it's always going to be the same things, and that's that's a big part of what you know. Coach Taylor talks about is us just, you know, trying to be one and zero every week and trying to get better every day, really. And it's the same things we're going to emphasize over and over. Right? We want to be great fundamentally. We want to be able to take on blocks. We want to be able to tackle well. We want to be great communicators uh, to the rest of the defense and make sure we're lined up in the right calls. Uh, and we want to play with great effort. Just talk about the, the defense you guys are installing under Bobby April. Obviously, you're familiar with that from your days at Wisconsin with Bobby, but. What are some specific aspects of your defense that the inside linebackers have to be particularly cognizant of that's maybe unique to your defense? Yeah, I think well, I think at the end of the day, it's 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 really tough to play defense in, in, in college football. All right, it's even tougher to play inside linebackers. What I tell our guys, we have a lot on our plate. We have all the communication in terms of what we have to communicate to the front. We have communication with one another, right? And then we got to be great in the run game, and we got to be great in the pass game, right? We got to be physical like D linemen in the run game, and we've got to run like DBs in the pass game. So uh, those guys have a lot on on their plate, and they understand that it's a tough job, and we and we take it seriously, but we. Uh, you know, continue to strive to, to be great every day and continue to put a lot of pressure on those guys that, uh, that we're great for, for our teammates. We communicate well to our teammates and we help everybody get settled in and, and play the right calls. Obviously one of the big, biggest challenges of playing defense in today's era is just how sometimes ticky-tack calls can get with respect to helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits and targeting. Just how do you kind of coach guys in this era to make sure they can stay physical but also avoid getting those fouls? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, we, we work on it. We're, we're always trying to make sure we're, we're keeping our helmet out of it. We're trying to tackle with low pad level. Uh, we're trying to shoulder tackle uh, whenever we can. Sometimes things occur where you know, you're know you in a tight box and a guy you get off a block and all of a sudden the ball carries on you and, and things happen uh, naturally. But uh, you know we try to prevent it and we try to talk about safety and safety first in terms of the, the game. And you know we spend quite a bit of time on it. Just talk about USC's offense and your perspective. What, what's, you know, what makes them challenging? And obviously Caleb Williams comes to mind first, but just what makes them a challenging offense and what's 
Give me the key to you guys being successful against them. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously uh, they do an unbelievable job of, of making uh, explosive plays, right? They have they have explosive playmakers across the board, obviously starting with the quarterback. And really, from our standpoint, it just has to be that uh, you know we communicate very well. Um, everybody just tries to do their job, and we eliminate the unforced errors, right? Which is easier easier said than done. But really, at the end of the day, if we can eliminate the unforced errors and, and, and play hard, uh, we give ourselves a shot. Two more questions before I let you go. Just first of all, uh, not not in your position group, but just your your thoughts on David Bailey and what he brings to the defense. Yeah, obviously, super talented uh, player. Um, we're pleased with uh, you know how he played uh, for us in game one. He, he made a lot of big plays for us and. Uh, was really locked in and we really did a nice job of playing the defense. So obviously, David's playing well. Uh, it's going to be a, a real asset for us as a whole defense. The final question for you, just, uh, you know, Matt Rose is sort of elevated into the two deep depth chart. Um, came in, um, I believe Rivals, we had him rated as like a two-star recruit, so very low rated. So to see a guy like that elevate himself to uh, to the two deep is impressive. Just what has he done well to earn your guys' trust and, and progress to the level that he has? Yeah, he's, he's, he's tough, um, he's smart. Um, it's important to him. Uh, he works hard at it, and uh, he's just done a great job of continuing to improve from the time we've gotten here in January uh, until now. So he loves football. It's important to him. Uh, you know, he takes coaching, and, and uh, you know, he's a he's a he's a physical guy. He, he really, uh, and that's the biggest thing that stands out to me is, uh, is his, his willingness to, to to be physical and be tough. Perfect. Thanks so much, Mark. Appreciate it.